started in 2012. We're in our peak construction year right now. On the two converter stations, we've got about 1,200 people working. It's a buzz of activity. We've gone through the procurement phase, we're on the tail end of the design phase, and we're in that pure construction phase. And we'll be in that for about a year. The number one concern or key milestone for us was to get the two HVDC buildings closed in this winter. And one of the major challenges we had at Q8Net is our piling subcontractor went insolvent uh, in February this year. It was a pretty challenging uh, task ahead of us, but we've made that time up. And, uh, and that building is closed in now for the winter. Our HVDC converter transformers are going to start showing up uh, end of November at, uh, uh, at Real and up about two weeks later at Q8NEC, the first two uh, of each. i uh, give you a bit of a sense. These are 300 ton uh, specially designed converter transformers that are being made in uh, Nuremberg, Germany. Uh, during the, the factory acceptance test of the first converter transformers, they weren't meeting our performance criteria. So we've worked very closely with Siemens. Uh, we did a redesign on these transformers. Uh, we've got the first four units have now passed test and, and have left the factory. There has been a lot of discussion about the project's budget and schedule. And, and as far as the budget goes, uh, we do expect to see some increases in the budget. As far as schedule goes, as we wind into the end of next year, we'll start into commissioning and then in service for July of 2018. We've got a good team behind us to do that. We've got good, strong contracting partners, and we're excited to see what the next two years looks like.